Welcome back to Life is Aisha and today we are doing yet another installment of Sneaker Friday. Um, I'm so excited because I have really been keeping this going. I never stick to anything. If you've been following me from the beginning, you know that I'll say something and then I disappear and <laughs> won't come back. So um, your girl is on a streak right now. So sometimes you have to applaud yourself. Okay, anywho, um, the shoes I'm going to be discussing with you all today are the Space Hippie 4s, and um, I just want to first get into the box detailing. So I, I took the shoes out the box, and on the outside of the box is just a simple, but plain, basic brown box. It's nothing special at all, but on the inside of it, I do think it's very cool, and I just wanted to show this to you all. So it does have Space Hippie, like on the top of the box when you open it up. When you pull back the side, um, like pockets what do you call this <laughs> i don't know and on the inside of it also has space hippie this side of the box is just the nike logo check and it's like kind of like super size and it just has moved to zero box which should probably be backwards to you all it just has nike and it's kind of like in like bubble like letters so a little bit about this shoe the shoe is very much so a, e a eco-friendly type shoe um it's all made of sustainable materials is basically um, what they call trash transform you can also see nike trash trash transform and also right here in the little fold of the box and um i did get the space hippie fours which i've already stated um i'm if i'm not mistaken it was either four or five models of the shoe it could be more so don't quote me on that of course i have the correct information in the description box if i tell you anything mistaken in the video and um the color way for this one is the lemon venom so the lemon meaning the yellow color that's all throughout the shoe which is basically like a neon yellow the venom color is this pale pink color here it kind of gives me like a salmon pink but um yeah i think yeah the, the, it's pretty much true to color on camera from what i can see in my display also on this side the other side of the shoe you do have a hint of gray here but throughout the shoe is basically all this neon is kind of like woven into the shoe and then you have these black laces on the tongue of the shoe just has the number four signifying which model this is and the nike um check symbol on the back of the shoe it has nike and it also is in black lettering and it has the neon behind it and it is like a detachable tab type of situation here the shoe is kind of like a sock material so um if you've ever had like nike prestos nike hirachis or um even you could say roshis but kind of sort of not really um it's a slip-on shoe so um it's just kind of like stretch it and you slide your foot in the laces are functional so i'm pretty sure you can like make it looser or tighter but typically with shoes like this i just slide them on i don't even bother with the lacing of it. i'm just going to read a couple little details about the shoe that i did get off of the nike website because i can't remember all of this so it's made up of at least 25 percent of recycled material which i think i covered already it's a lightweight running shoe that feels like it's from the future i've heard that this shoe is super comfortable i really am anticipating trying it on and wearing it because like that's so i love comfortable shoes quality comfort over everything is my thing for when buying shoes this shoe has the lowest carbon footprint so the shoe um, it's saving the environment and cushioning your foot in the process. You really can beat the combination of the space waist yarn, which um, this is what the shoe is made of, this yarn-like material. So that's super cool. And also right here on the back, um, let me see if you can all you all can see it. It kind of has like a like film-like material over it. Um, it's like sheer, like a mesh material. I don't really know why but it's just it's just really cool looking to me and it also has like some neon like threading in the back of it um on the heel tab here the sole of the shoe is just like this kind of like rock like if you ever been rock climbing or something that's what the shoe is giving me like it's giving me very much so um like it has like these like specks throughout the shoe so it's not a solid just white sole it does have different colors and different hints in it pretty sure it's picking up yeah so um i just thought they were super cool also right here on the heel of it it does have the nike um symbol and it's kind of embossed right there in the heel the upper is made up is fly knit and that makes up it says it's made up about 75 percent 
um, material by weight and the de deconstructed design gives the look and feel of a prototype sent from the future with performance you have to feel to believe. It says a modified waffle outsole, which is this is the outsole. I gotta start saying midsole outsole. I gotta start saying it. Um, references Heritage Nike sneaker design. It combines with a booty fit for a snug, comfortable ride. For sizing purposes, I did purchase, um, I did get a size 8 in the shoe. I heard it was true to size. I'm typically an 8. I only tend to size down to a 7.5 for women in a lot of Adidas and Reebok models. Sometimes I can pull off a 7.5 in Nike, but normally a Nike um, brand shoes fit me true to size. So um, I'm hoping that this is a winner, like I said before, or I just wear some thick socks because I'm not about that return life unless it's just something that I completely do not want. Um, as far as how I came about these shoes, I did purchase these shoes from Finish Line. I can't remember if I stated that or not because this is kind of sort of my second time around filming this because my camera cut off and I don't know what I said, what I didn't say. You get what I'm saying. So, um, yeah, these came from Finish Line. Um, basically, JD Sports shipped it out. If you know anything about it, that is their sister company. I went to a JD Sports when I was in Orlando for my birthday um, a couple years ago. So, it's kind of like the women's um, version of Finish Line. But I purchased them from FinishLine.com, but JD Sports sent them. And I also um, recently purchased uh, two other pairs from J JD Sports. So, stay tuned for those reviews. And yeah, let me just show you a side by side because I've been trying, I'm trying to keep these sneaker vids shorter, y'all. Like, y'all know how I get, I get to talking. So, <laughs> yeah. Thank me later. <laughs> But yeah, I just thought it was a super dope, cool shoe. It's not um, a super hype type of shoe. Definitely, you can get the shoe still for retail. It's been the kind of a thing of their um, restock, um, sellout, restock, sellout. So just kind of stay tuned and um, stay tuned into updates and restock alerts if you really want the shoe. I'm pretty sure that um, it's still available as of now as, as, as I'm filming this video so do not pay um, resale or anything I think when the Space Hippies were first released it was like a um, like a surge for people to get it because everyone loves like a good recyclable shoe but um, the hype died down this was not a hype repair right here which I'm not mad at it all sometimes you need to get releases that you can just easily grab without having to fight everyone on the internet and all the, the bots and everything so yeah that's going to bring us to the end of this video I hope that you all enjoyed it let me know what you all think about the shoe have you grabbed any of the other space hippie models um, what are your thoughts on the shoe as a whole um, as far as the sustainability the recyclability the use of trash materials like what are your thoughts on it and as always remember to like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you next friday thank you for watching So right here you do see another little nike check that's in black right there i really love when they do that like i love having a uh, two swooshes so you have the black swoosh here which is not really a full swoosh it's kind of like just little lines that um imitate the symbol and the shape of the nike check swoosh but as you can see it's not fully like colored in but this one right here on the opposite side of the toe box is so yeah i just thought that was a cool thing